Hello Mr. Kablov, this is Denis. Uh, here are the uh, video I wanted to uh, show you the uh, new uh, feature I have tested for the last weeks and uh, I wanted to finish a little bit more before to show it to you but because now I see someone who has implement some is implementing is attempting to implement something that looks like what I did uh, well I won't wait uh, to have finished and uh, will bring to it to your attention now and tell me ask you to tell me if uh, we could uh, implement it as it is right now or not uh, as you can see I really took the time to try it uh, and, um, and I just to show you I tried it I realized that we cannot use space in the friendly name we give uh, because it looks like it's saved directly in the key of the XML file but anyway that's not the point uh, what I did uh, regarding the, uh, the the tabs I call that the favorite tabs uh, it is implemented the same way as the uh, odd directory uh, but it is with the tab so I add an option uh, in the folder tab uh, to configure what we want to do with the double click uh, legacy was outcorded to be close the tab but uh, I suggest to have access favorite tabs so this way when I double click there it bring it pop up the uh, option uh, a pop up menu to select uh, between uh, setup that I've been saved uh, in the path in the past uh, at the bottom just like with the uh, there where we had the configuration at the bottom I have configuration of favorite tab so the favorite tabs are a child in the tree of the uh, config in the configuration tree of the folder tab. Here I have all the uh, friend the setup that I have saved in the past uh, in the last weeks. Uh, these uh, this is my development uh, double commander. It's not the one I use every day because the one at the work has many more. Uh, I think I have 100 now. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> Demo for Mr. Goblov, I didn't remember. So anyway, uh, let's suppose um, let's suppose I want to uh, show you uh, a feature of it. Uh, when I double click here and I uh, request, for example, double commander, as you can see, change the tab only on the active side. If I go there and I click double commander, oh no, sorry, that's and that I, I wanted not this one, this one. I wanted to show something. Here it will do it only on the. What I wanted to say is, uh, we have the control on which side it will apply uh, what is load, and why? It's because if I go in the configuration, uh, let's suppose I select my entry for the what I've what I've been saved for the tab. Uh, just like for the other directory, when I select it from the tree, I can see the friendly name, the path where the tab are saved. And uh, what I've been saved, what I've been saved for the left tabs, I, uh, we can control where it will go. Uh, people will get probably used to that. What I've been saved for left will go to left. What I've been saved to right go to right, which is basically what this uh, was doing, what the the group option was doing. But uh, I found useful to be able to uh, have my configuration to determine where they will be restored so that's why me what I like is that the left tab goes what I've been saved for the left will goes with the active folder the, not the active folder but the active panel and what I've been saved in right will go nowhere to none an existing tab is something that is similar to what total commander <laughs> had here where we could lo load tabs file but keep current without losing what I've been saved previously. Uh, me, I use it for my transfer thing. Let's suppose I select MT and I select transfer. So see, I didn't lose my C, or maybe my demo could be better with double commander. If I select again my transfer, see, it add for me my, my transfer working and these folder, but without losing the one that were saved in my double commander. And if I do that many, many times, as you can see, it will keep adding them and same thing if I go on the other side because it added on the active because it has been configured to add only on the active side 
the, the what I've been said to left goes to the active panel and the right goes nowhere and the here the existing tab to keep are set to both because I want to keep them both um, that's it uh, I will go back again to my empty one that I like to go and configuration other than that uh, where it will add by default oh yeah I didn't show uh, what it does uh, when we add the uh, folder so uh, let's suppose it is that folder that well it's not a good example <laughs> Let's suppose uh, my calendar stuff. So let's suppose I have a few tab. Uh, let's suppose I want here. I have um, I had a function to uh, lock uh, all the tab, unlock all, lock all. Uh, suppose I want to add this. I will select save current tab over existing entry. So this is to save over existing one, just the same way as the person had recently the rewrite rewrite active group um, so uh, but if we want to add a new one it will be add current tab to a favorite one just a last demo so it is here so I can configure it by default as you can see here it's left to right because my default here default save tab destination is left to right so each time I do a save it will apply to my new entry what is here but me personally so th this is the, the default for the person who used the, the double commander with that the first time. But me, uh, or the advanced user, let's say, <coughs> I like to put it to left tab goes to the active, the right goes to none. Uh, and that's it. Uh, don't come here after saving the first time, so it, will, it won't bring up this each time we save something. Me, I like, I like to have it because I can place it uh, I can uh, place it uh, where I want. That's another advantage by the three, by the way. We can sort quickly. Uh, we can arrange the things uh, the way we want. So it will appear uh, just like just like that. Uh, we could add separator, as you can see. Whoops. <laughs> add add it after. Uh, we can test. Here uh, I can test my uh, my pop-up just to see the look and feel what it gives. Um, that's about it. And uh, oh yes, and the confirmation since I did the modification and I was about to quit without saving. So that's what I wanted to suggest to implement. I hope the person who did that won't be too mad at me if we implement that. But uh, you know, the person could play with what I had and add features. So uh, that's about it. I hope my video was not too fast and uh, you understood what I was trying to say. I know I don't pronounce everything like <laughs> maybe you get used in uh, Europe. But uh, that's it. Let me know what you think and if I can commit that.